All right, guys, so up next, if you can't already tell by what's in my hand, is we are gonna be replacing this with this because, of course, there's a train. So this is actually really, really easy to do. You just have a bunch of screws along here. As you can see, there are two final screws. You get to the mechanism. There you have it, this is the old one. I don't know why I just put all these screws on top of the new one because I just have to move these out now. All right guys, there you go. So you can see this one is now off. This is the new one that is on there. It is nice and smooth. It opens just like it should. Now that took me about 20 to 25 minutes just because some of the screws were pretty difficult to work with. But that is so much better than where it was. I'm, I couldn't be happier. And also, as you already know, we have the unlock lock button switched as well as all of the window button. So it took about maybe 30 to 45 minutes of my own time to do all three of these, and it greatly improved this truck. So I couldn't be any more happy with the way it turned out. All right guys, there you have it. So that is three easy modifications to do to your vehicle. Well, these aren't exactly maintenance, but in general, over time, this gets very worn down. Um, it's very easy to fix. And I don't know if I could explain how nice it is that I can now rest my arm here and not have it go in between all the cracks in the leather. And now I can actually unlock and lock my truck, which is super nice. And now I don't have to worry about my windows being all kind of weird. So if you did find this helpful or would like to see more videos of me completing this project on my Duramax, please subscribe. I'm gonna make a lot more videos on this and shoot even more of them today. So if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. Thank you for watching. Take care, have a nice day. See you guys in the next one. Peace.